What's up, y'all? It's the Quisha, and I'm back with another one. Now, before we get into this video, I want to talk to my travelers for 25 seconds. I do take luxury vacations for cheap because I'm with a discount traveling company for cruises, hotels, flights. You can hit me up on Instagram for further questions or just click that link in my YouTube. Don't miss out on luxury vacations. Now, let's get to it. Go hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a video that I post. Y'all, Carlissa was on live drinking a little wine, but also spilling some tea. Y'all listen to this live. That girl tried to say your son beat her and said he will kill her and the baby. Oh, Lord Jesus. That's when you know a damsel in distress about to go in, right? Now, he done tried to pay that girl to go her own way, and now he's trying to beat her to stay. It ain't, it ain't adding up, y'all. The shit ain't adding up. But we done all been there. We done all did that to a man before. We gonna make them pay. We gonna make them pay. You hear me? We gonna lie, cheat, and steal. We gonna make them niggas pay. We all ain't do that. That girl's the new I'm talking about it's coming out, ain't it? That's what he get, though. He don't want to listen to the mama. He thought he had it all together. Now she over there playing possum and victim. Now, people may not feel bad for Rock because in that situation, a lot of people always knowing that he was putting his hands on her. Yes, she should have gotten out, but we're not in her situation and she didn't get out. But after everything happened, she bossed up. Now, how is she playing possum and victim? If everybody knows that he was putting his hands on her, it's not nothing that she made up. But once again, do I feel bad for her? No, I feel bad about the situation. But like I'm always say, she didn't sit around sit around and whine about it. She ended up waking up and telling herself, you know what? I got to boss up. I got to get my own money. I can't be scared no more to realize that I can do things by myself. And she started bossing up. But here go one of the things, because I don't like how some of y'all run to the mama videos talking about some, oh, she's pretending like this and she's pretending like that instead of y'all doing y'all research on this man being a manipulative person and actually putting his hands on her. And some of y'all weird talking about, well, you be putting your hands on him too. What abused woman ain't going to fight back? Y'all want women to fight back so much. And then when they fight back, they're the victim or they're, oh, well, you was doing it too. Why? Why should a woman be blamed for hitting back, for fighting back, for making it be known that I'm not your punching bag? Like I said, she should have got out right then and there. But since she didn't, what we going to point fingers for? All we gonna do is state facts. The facts was he was putting his hands on her and all she doing is speaking her truth. She's not wanting people to feel bad for her. She's speaking her truth so everybody could know what was going on in that situation. But I decided to insert this video that happened about last year, I want to say. So y'all watch this. I'm sorry. I'm gonna warn y'all right now. It's graphic. I did try to pull some of the parts out so y'all really wouldn't see it, but it's just a trigger warning. So if you do not not want to watch it either fast forward it or stop this video now you punch me in my mouth what are you talking about punch me in my eye you're a bitch so what if i want to get away from you let me get away from you don't pull me away don't pull me closer so you can hit me in my mouth you sound dumb you should have let me jump out. No, you're on some weirdo shit. You bust my lip. You bust my lip, nigga. You bust my lip and gave me a black eye. Get out my face, bro. No, you're being weird. You're trying to be a bitch. Fuck you on my booking. You came to my booking to pick up my money to disrespect me, nigga. I'm trying to get out the car while I was moving because I want to get out the car. You bust my lip and give me a black eye because you're a bitch. This nigga, what are you talking about? The busted lip, busted nose, you lying. You weird ass bitch. You lying. I'm not, I'm just taxing a boy. That's it. This bitch ass nigga gonna beat me up. Like, what the fuck? So what? Let me jump out the motherfucking car, nigga. He gonna pull me back just to hit me in my mouth because I wanna jump out the car. So you gonna pull me out the car? No. No. I try to get out the car. He pulled me back just to hit me in my mouth. 
Then he called me on the police shit. You're been drunk and you're been, you're been a bitch. You're too comfortable keeping me in my mouth. You're too comfortable keeping me in my face. I hope y'all will kick out, man. No, I got a black eye and a busted nose and a big lip because I want to get out the car. You go to Minneapolis tomorrow, right? Sir, how am I being suicidal if I try to get out your car while it's moving? I'm trying to get out the car because I know what type of time you're on and I'm not fucking with it. He pulled me back just to hit me in my nose and my mouth. Because I'm trying to get out your car. That's not suicidal. That's you being a bitch. Over some shit you saw on Instagram. Oh, well, bitch, nobody told you to come to my booking. To collect my money. Real shit. You trying to kill me, my nigga. Bitch, let me jump out the car before you want to hit me in my mouth. The fuck? I just bought a car before I want to fight your weird ass. What you gonna do? You want me to kill you so bad? With the police, I don't care. Look at my lip. The Fuck federal, you. The federal, Fuck uh, you. The Fuck you. you the nigga, you punch me, nigga. I ain't punch you. The fuck? No, I wouldn't lie because I'm not playing with your weird ass. I'm not covering up for you. I'm not, not covering up for you no more, bro. Dang, I take ass whoopers all the time because I'm a nigga. Like, yeah, you did. You punched the fuck out of me and pulled my hair. Shut up. What the fuck are you still recording for? You got the money. Why are you still here? I'm picking it up the money. You it's on the floor. Money. No, I don't. Right. You keep saying why I'm here. Call the ride. You holding this man's car hostage. This my ride. This your ride to where? Where are you going? To the airport. I'm going home. Where your bags at? What the fuck you mean? Where your bags at? The fuck he gonna go get him? Why would he go get him? Nigga? Because he care, nigga. He don't give a fuck about you. Yes, he do. You don't give a fuck about me. That's that's the thing. The driver do. You don't care about yourself. The driver say he was going. Care about nobody. We don't care about themselves. Of course, sure. You don't care. Shut the door. We're done talking. You gotta get out the car. The fuck? I'm going to the airport. I get this nigga 2000 just to go get my bags. I get another no car. He's trying to make up a lie. I didn't do this to myself. How did I do this to myself? I went live so you can stop putting your hands on me, bitch. Shut the fuck up, you weird ass nigga. I be too, like, com you too comfortable. You too comfortable. You slipped up. Now you feel dumb. Oh, y'all hear Blueface in the background the whole time trying to manipulate her. How he come and beat her just because she reciprocated his energy. You see how some dudes could be? That's wild crazy to me. And then on top of that, gonna ask her why she sent the driver to go get her bags. So you wanted her to go back to the house with you? That's that toxic stuff. And she should have got out of that ASAP. But you know what? She still took accountability for everything. So if y'all have not seen a new video, I did put it in here. And and then we can get back to Carlissa's live. For sure, it was never that hard. Like, I swear to God, it was like a mind thing. I, I'm, I'm scared to move. I was scared to move. I was scared. I was scared. That I ain't blaming you. That's my stuff. That's my fault. Why? Because I was tolerating it. Why? Because I was making excuses for it. Why? I was getting drunk with the shit. Why? I was being mature. wasn't thinking about myself. I was crashing out, wasn't feeding my mental health. I was, that's all on me, dummy. That, that got nothing to do with you. I'm too all on me, 
but once again i do not want to hear people are making excuses for her or she's not taking accountability nobody is making excuses for her she done bossed up everybody is just trying to uplift the situation and just hope that she does better and when a woman is speaking her truth let her speak her truth don't call her a liar because most of the time it takes a lot for a woman to finally own up and notice what happened and take accountability for everything that happened let her speak her truth and just open up and just be like well we're happy that she's trying to change that but anyway back to carlos's live i don't know which one to believe one thing john ain't gonna do is beg you to stay <laughs> he sure ain't gonna try to make you she gonna have to come up with another that lie detector test came out and i'm sorry i love you baby i'm 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 working with you i'm gonna work with you krishan i'm gonna work with you with this baby but don't be over there telling no lies that lie detector came out and you over there deflecting like a motherfucker and i would do the same thing but that ain't right I will do the same thing, honey. I would have lied, too. All your son do is whine when he find out the truth. So, yeah, she decided, let me lie about it. Because I don't want to have to hear his mouth or go through all his internet stuff when he end up finding out. And he end up whining still to the internet. Talking about men could sleep with a thousand women. And women will still want them because they're known for being a player. But soon as women do it, no men want them because then now they're a hoe. Boy, if you don't take your manipulating ass on with that shoe i don't blame krishan on that one what they say if he a dog i'm a dog too stop playing with me girl i don't like him either at this point he ain't shared my motherfucking show <laughs> not one time and he know i ain't gonna beg i'm gonna let the lord deal with it girl she took accountability you just like to hear yourself talking no she didn't she on there crying and some old shit <clears throat> Talking about he was trying to do this and he was trying to do that. Mm -mm, I already told her she can't come back crying now. I already told her he didn't want her and I already told her who he wanted. She can't come back and use none of that shit. Okay, we not finna do it. This the, is this the reason I've been waiting to say. This the reason I've been telling everybody the truth. Screaming it from the mountaintops. So she can't say she didn't know. Baby, I've been telling you this whole time. I just don't like the fact that even, even, you know, even with my other son, baby mama, like I'm a love him. I just told her five minutes ago, y'all heard me, didn't I? I told her you can come by and bring this baby anytime you want to because the baby crying for me. What you and my son going through ain't got nothing to do with the baby, but don't sit up here and do no jiggity shit. Okay. That's what we ain't going to do is that jiggity shit. We gonna Girls, just be quiet and let's wait it out. Just be quiet and wait it out. Don't do the vengeance. Don't go trying to make it look good because you was on the, on the lie detector test, caught in a lie. We all been caught in a lie. Just let it roll. I ain't fucking with none of them. I'm staying on my own side of the fence. Just my side over here, okay? I'm not fucking with none of them. You're going to have to get tell me he finna marry a bitch for me to be their friend again. I'm not being no more of my son's or my daughter's spouse's friends. I don't even want to talk to him. Right, she the victim now. We can't do that because if we start pulling out all the receipts to show that you ain't really no victim, you're going to look crazy. So just let it roll. Let it roll. You know who Carlissa remind me of? She remind me of that lady that was in Medea's family reunion, Lynn Whitfield. When she asked her daughter, what did you do to him to make him want to hit you? Like, why it always got to be on a woman? But anyway, I just feel like as much as I don't want to say it, but it's true. Even though I sometimes, most of the time, disagree with what Carlissa said. Even though I still kind of feel like she don't like Krishan Rock in a way. I do feel like she was trying to keep Krishan Rock away from her son because she knows he has abusive tendencies. I ain't defending nobody. Fuck them all at this point. Fuck them all. <laughs> all and fuck them all but the kids. Fuck them all. Hey, you gotta be wetter than that. You gotta be quicker than that. We getting ready to have a baby. Everybody need to just shut the fuck up and be happy and wait for this goddamn baby to get here so we can all be happy. You seen the video of her chasing Rock in the car. They got a video out now. Please tell me John didn't pull the video out. 
She never said she was a victim. Girl, she on there crying, talking about, <laughs> that's a victim. Bitch, roll your sleeves up like you've been doing and keep acting like that crazy-ass Power Ranger. The red one. Come on now. Be strong, baby. I told you. I done already told you. You didn't want to listen to me. You want to listen to these motherfuckers on, on your live instead. She got about 80,000 people on there telling her what to do all the hell wrong. Just listen to the mama. Be quiet, be still, and don't move. You can't talk shit when you ain't wet, wet. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Ain't you motherfuckers ain't gonna, ain't gonna cry about it now. I've been saying it the whole time. I done got kicked in my head for saying it. We gonna keep that same energy that y'all had this whole time. Telling me to shut up and mind my own business. Now she over there pretending to be sad. Uh-uh, no ma'am. We ain't gonna take it. Just wait your turn. When your baby come out and your period come back, then you go back in and get you some more. That's what you're going to do anyway. Girl, just wait for your blood. That's all you got to do. We, there's power in the blood. Just wait your turn, okay. girl. Okay. My turn. Because they going to be over there delivering that baby, talking about push, push, baby, push. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers going to be over here mad. And they gonna be taking pictures, delivering babies and shit, holding them up like Kenta Kunte and shit. <laughs> Talk them up. This my full black one. <laughs> this is Kunta. <laughs> Woo! You know how the black man do when he have a real chocolatey baby. He hold that motherfucker up high. <laughs> you better run, nigga. <laughs> Oh my God! I ain't laughing, y'all, cause it ain't funny. I'm just, I'm trying to laugh to keep from crying for her, cause I know her feelings is over there hurt, girl. Janice's daddy did the same thing to me. I know exactly how you feel, Rock, and I thought I was wet too, baby. <laughs> but apparently, girl, the wet don't cover up, girl. They want them that kitchen cleaned up right after they cook. I ain't doing that. They want this. They want. And Jade can fight. I hope she can. She I, I, she better know how to fight over there messing with them Power Rangers. No, she do take karate though. So she do got a couple. She got a couple moves that might put you down. So you might want to just be a little a little prepared. Cause all that swinging crazy how you did me that ain't gonna get it. Your ass gonna be kicked down. So what you want to do is go in slow, watching them hands, knees, and toes. And I don't suggest doing it while you're pregnant. Girl, Andre taught me one move. Don't, don't fucking put, let me try this damn move out on you. I've been practicing this one motherfucking move. I'm telling you. I don't respect no female putting hands on someone's mom. That part right there. We, for, we forgave her, though. We gave her a pass for it. I had to forgive her when she had that, got that baby up in her. Because the Lord was going to surely take me down if I didn't. Right. Why use a baby as a pawn? You don't use children as pawns. I never did that to my kids, to no one. Ever, never, ever would I do that. If my baby, if the grandma, me and the grandma wasn't getting along, guess what? Oh, well, I got to suck it up. She pulling up for the birthday, the holiday, whatever day she want to pull up. And that ain't got shit to do with me. If I ain't feeling it, I'll go in the room. I'm not playing with nobody with no kids. I never answer to God for no dumb shit like that. You got to be a whole weirdo. Like, what, what, the, what the baby got to do with it? That's why I said I wouldn't dare have no um, birthday party or nothing and not tell let, let Janice not invite people. Like, you give them the option to want to come or not, and we still going to be respectful and responsible. Because when the kids wake up and be like, why wasn't my grandma in no pictures? What the hell are you going to tell them? Well, at the end of the day. That you're weird? The way that these young guys is, they not ready to be settled down. And Jonathan already said he don't want to get married. So that part. My thing is how long is I'm not doing no more girlfriends, no more boyfriends. Them? My kids you can't know, introduce me to nobody. I'm gonna cuss the bitches out. When I don't wanna meet you, bitch. I don't wanna be your friend. I don't wanna kick it with you. I don't wanna talk to you. And if you last past a month, good riddance. Hold on, Get somebody things. else to do it. She minding her business. Well, she don't need to be minding her business on the internet crying, talking about she somebody mean, did played her. Girl, you played yourself. That lady had business. them two fucking kids before you got there. That was a signal. She minding her business? Not her internet. She over there crying. 
over there looking like a damn fool talking about he did this he ain't did shit but fuck you help him pay child support for what if you hadn't noticed Jaden's the breadwinner now and i want to see how you get that motherfucking money out of her y'all not picking up what he putting down how the fuck you gonna charge him for child support if Jaden's the fucking breadwinner see how slow you motherfuckers is weirdos now let's see how you get Jaden to pay some child support and he ain't gonna marry her just for that she gonna be the red winner until that baby turn 18 years old and she should, booyah she shouldn't want to marry him just for that common sense why you think Jaden on the front line she, she gonna make sure a bitch don't get a dollar Jonathan don't make no money no more. Jaden the breadwinner. Because she the one making the music. He building a studio for her. MILF music is her. Y'all motherfuckers is slow. You're too slow to be playing with people. I ain't gonna get some child support. Yeah. <laughs> From <laughs> That's what my baby daddy, uh, baby mama tried to do when the restaurant was in my name. And I tried to get it out my name. It ain't fucking possible. <laughs> he gonna get, she gonna get two hundred dollars a month, cause he broke now, cause everything in his baby mama name, and all his house is in my name. So what y'all gonna fucking do? Go figure it out. That's why you wasn't at your baby's party. They said that's why you wasn't at your baby's party. Girl, didn't you see me partying at the beach with my man and my kids? <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? I had a great fucking party yesterday without a bunch of weirdo strippers running around. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't want to be around a bunch of strippers anyway. That's the problem. They should have had. <laughs> y'all, y'all not picking up what I'm putting down. They got strippers what the fuck did we miss? Strippers and gang members. <laughs> strippers and gang members. What the fuck I look like. At a one year old birthday party. Yeah, that I was gonna have a great fucking time there. That's all right. I make my grandson Krishan's baby's first birthday party. Bet I do. Because black women don't play with their kids like that. There's no damn well we got to talk about this and a few other things tomorrow on live. I would have never knew if you motherfuckers didn't tell me that a bunch of strippers and gang members got together at a tore down house to have a fucking birthday party. I really, really fucking missed it. Her rock's mother, she deserves better, yes. And before she put all them chains on her neck, she should have definitely put some shit into her mama. She don't know nothing about that. Look at her. Shit, rock mama ain't the leader of drugs in mama. Fran being messy and have an input on Krishan's rock mother. And Carlissa want Krishan rock baby over her house? Yeah, no. Not until a lot of people, especially her, know how to, you know, be cordial. If you can't be cordial and y'all gotta say crazy things out your mouth, why even see the baby? But anyway, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about this live. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm out. Peace.